This is Tom Costello. The NIH and drug maker Eli Lilly are tonight looking for 2,000 volunteers for antibody drug trials to treat patients suffering through the ravages of COVID. One trial involves patients who are hospitalized. The other involves those who are sick at home. We believe a treatment like this has the potential to stop that progression in terms of symptoms and to keep people at home and out of the hospital. The antibodies come from a COVID-19 survivor. They target and lock onto the virus, preventing it from spreading. The hope? It could bring relief to people like Ty Godwin in Denver. So it's... Uh... 2.40 in the morning. Ty and I have been close friends since we were kids. A triathlete, Ty's fever has topped 100 degrees for 72 days now. At night, his legs constantly twitch. Yeah, it just feels like my whole body's got flu. My arms tingle, my legs tingle right now, but everything's hot. His only relief, a bathtub of cold water at 3 a.m. My feet were on fire, my chest is on fire. Ty counts himself among a group of COVID patients called long haulers who suffer through the symptoms for months. One Facebook group has 87,000 members. An antibody treatment could boost the body's defenses. Your own immune system is a, an amazing uh, biotechnology factory and it is able to sense uh, some invading virus or bacterium and make antibodies Back in Denver, Ty, who's also an artist, has drawn a rendering of the COVID monster that comes to haunt him every night. With multiple antibody drugs now on fast track and reporting encouraging results, it's likely they will be available before a vaccine is approved, possibly within months. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.